Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're playing EVE against Fiddlesticks. I'm going to give you guys all the tips and tricks you need to carry on this champion. And just give you my challenger thought process in this game. So, I'm playing against a Fiddle, so we're both probably just going to be farming and no one's really going to invade each other. Like, we're both like trying to get our six right, so it's a battle of who can full clear better, basically. So, he doesn't have a... well, their bot lane's late to lane, right? So, I can assume he can he can start as red, but there's a possibility for a fake leash, but that's like never a thing these days. So, I'll assume he starts red, but there's a chance he started topside as well. But like, I'm gonna just assume um, he started his... Oh, my top laner died, unfortunately. That's all good, we're just gonna park down there, everything's chill. We're just going to finish our red here, and let's go to our bot side here. Two points in Q. You put two points in Q if you're going to just clear and not go for a gank. It makes you clear a bit faster. But W's better. If you're going to get invaded by like a Lee Sin or something, then you need to be careful, okay? Because if they take one of your camps in front of you, which they can sometimes, then you're going to be a bit upset because you're going to be stuck level 3 with no point in W for a while. So... Just be very, very careful that you're sure that you're not getting invaded here. I have mid and bot price. Yeah, they're pushed up further than the enemy in the lane, so that means they'll be able to move to the place sooner than the enemy bot lane will. So, paying attention to that, just knowing that I'm not getting invaded because of the enemy champion and because of the prio. So, bot lane's trading a lot, a lot, a lot. So, we're going to smite this buff here so we can go down to the bot lane faster. Watch E for the move speed it gives us there, and we see if we can dive their bot. So in this situation, just trading one for one is always going to be worth, but whether I need to... Okay, we get that guy, and then we're going to slow that guy. So we QW and get the slow off there, and I know Fiddlesticks is pathing top, and then we see Fiddle, so we can just base here after Crab. And the thing is, we just got a double kill bot, and we... Probably can't contest our Raptors there, just because mids got pushed. So I'm just going to finish the Scott. I don't know why I charmed there. Whoops. And I assume my Raptors will be taken here. So I'm just going to ping that. And I'll just grab Sork Shoes in this situation. And we'll open on the Raptors here. Grab a pink and grab Sweeper. So on your first base, you can grab a Sweeper. But on whenever you're 6, you want to switch back to normal ward. And once you're level 9, you want to go to blue ward. So Sweeper's good on Eve pre-6 because you can cheese out ganks. With your sword shoes, and that's very nice, but uh, you do want to sort of not have Sweeper when you're 6 because it doesn't do anything denying vision, right? Because you're invisible, if that makes sense. Nice top lane trade, 1 for 1. We're just going to path down here, straight to the Raptors. Fiddlesticks is going to go bot side out of base because his bot camps are respawned. And his top camps are still going to be respawning. Just It's going to take a bit of time. So there's no reason for him to go top just yet. So he'll be opening on bots. So we're just going to ping that to our team. And they'll be on our walls on spawn here. We'll ping to our team so they know. We'll check mid. Mid's trading. I can't really gank this Yon. He'll just flash away. I'm just going to wait for my ult before I gank that guy. Unfortunately, my vein disconnects from this game. And then he reconnects. Ouch. He might die because of that. Oh, that's a tilter. Oh, he lives. It's not the end of the world. So we're going to have to carry this game because my top lane is going to be very, very behind. He's 10 CS to 35 CS. Surprise not trolling. Good effort to that guy, though, for sure. Bot lane's trading a lot. We'll just go for the sweep here and then we'll run for this Kaiser kill here. We should be able to catch up to him just because we have tier 2 boots advantage. Unfortunately, there's a Fiddlesticks here, so Fiddlesticks decides to save him. Uh, it's normal, that's fine. We can just grab the Cannon Minion here as well. We've got nothing else to do right now. So we can kind of just CS, there's like nothing to do. And we grab this. I'm trying to see if I can get level 6 here or something. I'll just go in the bush here. I'll sweep it. And I'm going to get 6 invisibly. So now I'm 6 and they don't know. And now we can look for a dive here because there's a big stacking wave, right? So 
diving on this sort of a wave is really, really good. Okay, I'm trolling. Okay, okay, I trolled really bad. For some reason, I thought I did a lot more damage than that, but that's all good. Well, I'll show you how to play the game from very far behind, I suppose. So, what I should have done there, instead of this mistake, I should just accept reality, know that I don't have that much damage. I should just base and go to my top camps and farm down like I am now. So, basically, that death doesn't really matter. It's not, it's not like I died. Um, with my camps up. If you die with your camps up, that's kind of like missing a wave, like dying under turret and missing a wave. So I'm not really getting denied much. I'm just like giving the enemy a lead, not falling behind myself. That's my cope there for the for this game. Bit of cope. Never hurt anyone. We'll go for the Raptors here. We'll, we'll path down here. And we're just going to wait for our ult to come back up. Just the same as I always say in my videos, guys. Just wait for your ult. And we'll just go to the wolves, gromp, wait for our ult to come back up. Then we can look for bot plays or even mid plays if the Yone's low. So Yone's stuck in lane actually, something to pay attention to. He needs to base. He's on a lot of gold. And Karma hasn't based either. There is a Fiddlesticks in the mid lane. Fiddlesticks has no ult. He is going to be going for grubs here. We're just going to do the Gromp pan. that will probably skip blue just because I want to make a play right now with my bot lane as soon as they get back to base. Looks like they're bot lane bases, so there's nothing to do there, so I won't skip my blue. It was just in case Kai's hit the tyrant there, I can kill him. So, Fiddlesticks is on Grubs. He's done Grub with the Trindamir. I'm just going to charm this, get this finished as fast as possible. And then, is there a Kenna wave? There is. Fiddlesticks is top, he has no ult. This is pink here, so... You can hover your pink like this to see the vision range of it, so I can't walk past without getting revealed, unfortunately. But I do want to dive on this wave, if possible. Not sure where the Jenna is, but... Yeah, the Jenna's here, and she's level 6. It's going to be hard to deal with her here. Jen is going to have to ult here. So we just flash on the Jenna there before she can get her ult off. And we just finish off the Kaiser. And we dive on a very, very nice wave. So we're going to be in a very, very, very good spot here. So now we've pulled off this play. We help them push the wave and they're going to be able to hit the turret. Just ping that Fiddlesticks is probably based after this top side play. And he's farming his bot camps now. So probably by the... Alternator and the Sheen. Uh, usually I would like to go either Wisp before Sheen, but since in this situation I already had a glowing moat from earlier, it's completely fine to just go Sheen. Sheen's not too bad on this champ. Just make sure you're weaving in your auto attacks, not missing Sheen procs, because it, it will actually increase your DPS a lot. I'm pretty sure it would do more damage than either Wisp if you're autoing whenever your Sheen's up. So, like, say I can QQ and then hold this last Q for the last Sheen proc, things like that, uh, if I do it correctly. That's the way you should use Sheen and Lichbane. You both want to be, be you want to use it in both ways and be efficient. So you're maximizing the damage your champion can do. We're just gonna path down here, wait for our ult. Not too worried about the top lane. I'm just gonna, yeah. So a lot of the time people would be like, "Oh, my top lane is losing. I'm gonna help him." But no, I usually think the other way. I'll shut down this Trindamir later. Uh, I think. Karma can just deal with him just fine. Uh, it's like Fiddlesticks is hard engaging on my bot lane here. Kais is just altered in, so... Uh, looks like... Oh! Kais is going to be upset after this one. Oh, unfortunately, Kais had died. But Zyra just, like, had to die there. Like, he just couldn't just leave and just be happy with the play. I don't know. Well, it is what it is. I'm just going to not... I don't want to play for Drake. Drake, uh, not worth the time investment. He should just base and spend his money. So I'm just going to do Gromp here while I'm on my way to mid lane. 
And I'm gonna look for a mid play here. Should be able to kill him. And we'll just go for this play here. He has no wards, so I'm just gonna dodge this because this can actually. Re oh, I've been revealed. I'm just gonna queue this while I do this. Pink ward, and then we can look mid after. People won't really respect usually, even when they have seen me on a pink ward. Oh well, my karma didn't W or what? I don't know. Let's see if we can look for a play on this guy. Oh, my karma's kind of trolling it. Let's see if we can kill this Jenna here though. Oh, we probably can't. I think Jenna flashed, not gonna lie. I can just go look for the bot play here. I'm gonna wrap. Oh, yeah, I'll wrap around. We can dive this guy as a cannon? No, it's not. But don't really need a cannon. I have ult. I can just do it really quickly. Just wait for the wave. Push the wave, guys. And we charm once the wave dies. Q, E, dead. Easy. Now we clear this ward. I have Lich Bane and base. Can I kill mid? That's my question. If I can't kill mid, I'm just gonna base. Unfortunately, top lane dies. Okay. Ping my karma not to go for this play. Okay, my karma's not gonna listen. This is whatever. We can just play around mid here. I'm just gonna base. Grab Amp Tome. Trindamir has no ult, but... We have a pretty good comp with dealing with him. We have a lot of kiting, so it should be pretty fine to play against him. Just need to be smart with how we approach it. And we'll be fine. Just gonna do the red here. I'm gonna sweep. I should have blue ward, as I said. Or just normal ward, but... It doesn't really matter. It could save our life. I don't know if there's someone in the bush type thing. Gonna path down here, chilling. Finish the raptors off there, and we'll just wait for our team to come on map. That's the sort of idea we're going for here. I don't care about dragon, to be honest. We can just one shot that guy though. Oh, I mean, I had to do I had to ult to dodge that. Oh. Not sure where Trindamir is, to be honest. But we should be able to kill this guy. Oh, well, I can't really if there's a fiddlesticks about to fear me. Should be able to just kill everyone here. Get my Lich Bane prop on this guy. Charm this guy. I oh, probably. I just have to wait for my move speed to let me catch up here. Oh, we can't kill that guy. Is Raptors up? Nope. Alright, let's just do Dragon then. Because my team is so ADHD about doing this Dragon. I'll just do it so they move on to other things that are more important. It is what it is. And we can just farm our camps here next. So, uh, we have our ult. Uh, we, it's just something to do while the ult's down, right? It's just the same thing as always. And I want to base before it comes up, so I'll just do Gromp, then reset, and then play for my Magi's. Oops. Yeah, we'll just base after this Gromp here, grab Magi's, and make some more plays with our ult in a good spot here. We'll go for the Magi's. Choo -choo -choo. And we'll grab Blue Ward and an Amp Tome. We want to grab... Banshee's next, because we need to block the CC from Jenna and Fiddle. It's very important this game. Fiddlesticks is going to ult over this wall, I believe. No, that was Trindom, yeah. It's going to charm this guy, to be honest. I want to finish this, uh... Well, I've died, but we were able to pick up the Trindom shut shutdown, so I don't even know what happened there. I was trying to hold my ult for when his ult ran out, but I kind of trolled it. Oops. Uh, well, we have no Medjai's stacks now, so we're a bit sad, but we're not sad because we just got the shutdown on that guy, so... I mean, I could have played a lot better. I just kind of got... 
Oh man, no. I didn't even know what happened there. Oh, it's fine though. So, Yaren has a null magic. He's gonna be a bit tankier. But, we can just look for mid picks to be honest. Versus their champs. Pretty easy to kill Kaiser and Jenna. We'll just do Raptors here. We're almost level 11, but... Can we just kill the Fiddlesticks? I think we can, right? Because I've got Banshee's shield thing. I'm just gonna... I don't even need to ult, do I? I think I do. I'm not gonna risk that. I'm pretty sure it ramps up one more, then it's gonna kill me, so... I won't risk that. We get the shutdown, 150 gold. Now, we should be pushing mid turret here. But yeah, we get the nice kill there. Look for a play around mid, possibly, here. I don't have ult, but I'm still pretty strong without it. I mean, we just massacre them there very nicely. Awesome stuff. Trindamir goes down. Very nice, actually. Very good one for one by the Ezreal there. I mean, Ezreal shouldn't be dying like that, but he did. It's Trindamir is trolling his build also, I believe. Uh, Fiddlesticks is around somewhere. I'm probably going to get Fiddle altered. Nope. Karma did instead. We have a... That Karma is really tanky. Wow. Well... I have a lot of money, and my ult's going to come from 25 seconds, so around that time you want to base, because now what will happen is I'll be back on map, and my ultimate will be coming up. So here I'm just going to go for the blast, the blasting one, it's going to build into the void staff. We need magic resistance penetration, so they have Quicksilver Sash, which gives 30, and they have Negatron Cloak, so they're getting magic resist, so I need some magic pen to deal with that for sure, for sure. Finish this red here and we'll look for plays. See the Trindamir here. We can just kill this Kaiser, I reckon. Wait for my W, I can just QW him and then we'll just pick up the kill. Very, very nice. And Trindamir looks for us here, but let's just go split away from this guy. I just want to avoid him. The only win con they have is if they play side lane against us, and they're not really doing that, are they? So, we can collapse on these guys here, too. Gonna charm the fiddlesticks. He'll run into me here. And we'll just one-shot him, run away from the, the Trindamir. Trindamir has no ult. Let's click on him. Pay attention to when it runs out. There, it's gone. QE him as soon as possible. And we are just kiting them very, very nicely, getting very good angles on them and just winning through that. So, I'm not sure where Yon is. I assume he'll be around here trying to defend, unless he's going for the top kill, and I'm just going to run top. Vayne should be able to hold their own here, dodging everything. Very nice. And the FF, I hope you guys learned something during the coaching program. If you want to improve, uh, I hope you have good luck in your games and subscribe and like. Peace, peace, peace. Apologies for not uploading for a while, by the way.